guys welcome to another weekly vlog today is wow my hair is really not curled anymore <laughs> today is monday and it's going to be a busy day of editing videos because i've got a few backed up and i want to try and get everything that i've filmed edited so that i know what i've got because i just keep filming and filming and filming and i don't know what i've actually got there to like play with so that's my plan I also have a very exciting something turning up today. Well, two very exciting somethings. One is in my kitchen and one is definitely not from my kitchen. But I will share them with you when they get here. But I thought I would start this vlog with a little throwback to Saturday because my boyfriend and I did the little hand casty thing that we tried to do a couple of weeks ago and it actually worked this time. So we managed to get it to work completely. Really, really cool. The only problem is I then made a terracotta clay pot and it when I picked up the pot it touched the white hand thing and now there's like terracotta fingerprints all over it so we've got to paint it but that's fine so you've got to leave it for roughly like seven days to dry and then you can paint it but anyway enough of that here's the clips of us doing the hand casty hoo-ha enjoy <laughs> we're about to re-attempt the hand casting that I attempted two weeks ago in the vlog I think um, I'll leave a link to it down below because the company were actually really really helpful so I sent over a message when it all went pear shaped last time and said look this is what's happened I'm really really sorry but like is there any way you can send us the stuff to like make the mouldy thing or like anything we can do and they were actually really lovely and they sent us over a whole new kit which is really kind of them so I'll leave them linked down below so you can check that out but we actually annoyingly the box it came in like the little tub split which i think is just obviously due to being thrown around in the parcel thing so i picked up one of these from bnm homes on our latest visit which is just a black one pound plant pot and we're going to use that instead we realized we actually now have two lots of the plaster of paris so we can make the mold once bought an electric whisk as well because we broke the whisk last time so we're going to make the mold shape thingy with the this stuff i don't know how you say it chromatic alginate so that makes the mold and then we've got two lots of the plaster of paris so we can make the mold like make the sculpture thing twice which i think is quite cool so i think what we're going to do is make one for my house and one for his house um we also picked up a costa on the way home because we went to bnm which is next to aldi and we kind of just got like a few cleaning bits so i picked up like some washing detergent and that kind of thing i picked up some food for my plants i picked up this little shelf thing which is really really cute behind me that was only 50 pounds and it kind of looks like the h&m ones which i loved i think it's really cute um and then we also picked up some like random bits and pieces that we needed to get so really good trip all in all and now we're coming back to do this and i also got a giant thing over there which is a 12 kilo bag of terracotta coloured clay because we're going to try and make some more clay things tonight so our plan after doing this is to sit in front of the tv put onward on because my boyfriend has never seen onward and he needs to change that immediately and then we're going to sit and just do some pottery which is going to be really fun actually thinking as well about doing a maybe like a pottery challenge and making it so like you guys send me pictures of what you think i should try and make and then we'd attempt to make it because we have nothing else to do these days apart from make pottery so anyway i'm going to get on and start doing this because this takes quite a while. I'm gonna go to the toilet first because we have to sit with our hands in this stuff for five minutes. And I know for a fact, the minute I put my hand in, I'm gonna need a wee. So I'm gonna go do that quickly and then we'll give you a time lapse of us doing this. Right, hedge your bets. Do we think this is gonna work or not? <laughs> do we think? Leave me a comment down below and tell me whether you think this is gonna work and then watch the rest. Ready, you've got five seconds until we show you. Five, four, three, two, one. Our hands are in the thing and it's getting tighter and tighter, but obviously we can't move. So we have to wait till it goes from bright pink to like a greyish colour. So it's taking quite a while, but it is currently going grey, which is obviously a good sign. And as soon as it goes grey, we have to like wiggle our hands and get them out and then obviously wait a little bit and pour plaster of Paris in. So it's gone a lot better this time, have to admit. It's literally perfect. We couldn't have done it better, I don't think. Um, definitely helped by the electric whisk and realising we need cold water. And this time we actually put the water in first and then put the powder in rather than last time, which was powder first, because the instructions are a bit, the instructions are kind of contradictory. So it does say put the water in first, then it says to put the powder in first. So we just thought, do what we know and just put in the water first and then whisk. And it seems to have worked really well, but it's blooming cold because we use like freezer water. And 
I mean, to be fair, it's setting quite quickly now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, hopefully it works. Now you've seen that we'll get on with the rest of the vlog so basically today like i said is going to be editing and just getting stuff done so it's 10 past 10 at the moment and i'm basically just going to crack on and see how many videos i can get edited i'm going to aim for three or four i'm not sure if that's going to work or not but we'll try and hopefully we get it done so i'm going to put my hair back i'm going to just get myself comfy on the sofa and i'm going to get editing very fun to be honest i should probably use the computer in here i might actually come and do that that would make a lot more sense wouldn't it use my desk i do think i need to charge my keyboard and stuff though because i haven't used, i've used this literally maybe three times since i moved in and i know it needs charging so i might try and charge it up finish editing one on my computer on my laptop and then come and use the computer all afternoon that's a better plan i think bad boy my jalapeno one's getting really big now oh my god i thought that was a chili then what an idiot um someone actually told me to keep doing this with my chili plants because apparently it helps to like stop them um like it makes them feel like they're outside this one is like having a moment i don't really feel like it's growing very quickly but i don't know if it just needs to be put in a different pot or something maybe i don't really know i kind of just leave them to their own thing and just let them grow as they are i don't tend to like mess with them too much because i just want them to grow and be themselves but i feel like as the stems strengthen like these will kind of go upright because there's quite a few that are like trailing on the bottom and like need to kind of come up a bit i don't know who knows i need to pull them out and have a little look actually okay the chilies are watered so i'm gonna get started with dinner um i do need to put some plant food in them but i'm gonna do that later on so what do i need okay let's get started Yummy! It doesn't quite look like the picture, but still good enough. Theirs definitely looks a lot more aesthetic, but yum. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is actually one of those days where I've got loads of stuff to do. So I've got million and one things to film. I've got so many things that I need to post and cleaning and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be a busy day, but hopefully it's gonna be a really good one. Like I'm in the mood to get a lot of things done. So hopefully I can kind of power through. And it also helps that it's like a sunny cloudy day today. So the sun is shining, 
there's a little bit of cloud but it's still bright <laughs> which sounds really silly but that's kind of an indicator of what I can get done that day so if it's like sunny or it's light enough in my living room that I don't need to turn lights on in the morning then I know that I'll be able to film whereas if I have to have lights on all day like I did yesterday then I know it's an absolute no go but I'm going to quickly grab my laptop and I'm going to put on a little series or something while I quickly do my makeup and my hair and try and change this situation into something a bit more presentable and then I'll catch up with you after good morning guys how are we doing today it's Wednesday you can probably tell it's a new day I've got my Olaplex on currently because my hair really needs a wash and I've got a few pictures and stuff to take tomorrow so I thought I'll wash it today this can be my one day this week um, normally I tend to wash it one day a week depending on what I'm doing depends on what day of the week that is so I think last week I washed it on Friday and then obviously now it's Wednesday and it's being washed again and then it probably won't be washed again until like Tuesday next week or something but um, today is going to be the day that I do my kitchen organisation so you obviously saw last week's vlog I did the bathroom organisation I've also done three office organisation videos and there's been quite a lot of like spring cleaning and stuff going on because as you may or may not know, I'm not planning on staying here past my rent expiry contract on the something of August, some middle point of August. And I'm planning to buy a house, so I'm trying to clear everything out, minimise as much as I can. And obviously, I mean, the kitchen organisation is nothing to really do with that, but I'm trying to just like minimise my house down and not have too much clutter when I move. So I think if I start now and I just keep reducing and reducing and reducing, then I'm moving, only moving with what I really need to. And I can also make money on the stuff that I don't want anymore. Um, and then we've kind of got like a whole, a whole project. So more space, more money and yeah but this is actually going to be a separate video so it's not going to be in the vlog i will leave a link as soon as it's up i'm hoping to get it up potentially the wednesday after this goes live so i don't know what day of the week that what, what day of the week it's wednesday i don't know what date that's going to be but i will let you know so i'll pop in a few little montage snippets for you now but that video is coming and i hope you're going to enjoy it because i love clearing things out and i've actually bought really good storage solutions let me show you those in the vlog actually so I already have a few like jars and stuff which you'll obviously see in the kitchen organisation video but I picked up these baskets which are going to go in some of the cupboards and then I also got this pack of 10 jars um, so all of these are like different sizes so this is the biggest one and then this is the smallest so they're like a range of sizes between these and I'm going to put in all of my little random bits and pieces so like stock cubes, lentils, the whole the whole shebang um i was going to hopefully put cereal in them but these are a little bit too small i thought they were going to be bigger so i'm going to go on the hunt for bigger versions of that for my cereal because then they look a bit more aesthetic in the cupboard um basically just making my cupboards look really aesthetic so yeah i'm going to crack on i'm going to put something on my little tv and i'm going to get going with my kitchen organization and then i'll probably catch up with you in five minutes when i'm like having a meltdown over not knowing what to do <laughs> good evening guys i'm going to pop you in the cupboard it's dinner time and we're having mindful chef as always i will leave the code like i always do in the description because you get discount if you use my little code to sign up and honestly it's been the best meal service that i've used so far so if you saw my last vlog i mentioned about hello fresh and i just personally prefer the mindful chef ones it's making me try like different meals getting a bit more out of my comfort zone with flavors and stuff like we tried was it tempeh the other day yeah and it was so good and like it's all meals that we'd never normally make but they've all been really, really delicious. Tonight we have pesto stuffed mushrooms and dauphinoise potatoes. And I'm actually really excited because obviously I can't have dairy. So this is like a big change for me because I can't normally have dauphinoise, but it's made with cashew cream and the pesto has not got um, dairy in either. So very much looking forward to it. Obviously potatoes are gluten. So we're just going to pretend that I'm not doing that. I've kind of given up on the gluten at the moment. Like I know I can't have it and I try not to have it as much as I can, but I still occasionally do although that, my bro is unreal at the moment it's got quite bad but i'm just cutting my potatoes up <laughs> having a good time i forgot to show you dinner because it smelled and looked so good that we literally just wolfed it down quicker than i think i've ever eaten anything um i also have a few parcels which i'm going to show you in a hot second but um we're about to try and save my boob vase which i made the other week that looks a little bit like this because basically she's stuck to the spaghetti jar and she's cracked like nothing else so we're going to try and give her a bit of a 
bit of a wiggle, see if we can get her off the spaghetti jar and then like patch up the cracks and stuff. And then when she's all dry and everything tomorrow and all the glue bit, I mean, it might not work. I might have to remake her out of air dry clay tomorrow, which is totally fine. Um, but hopefully I can save her because I really like it and I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Cause obviously if I patch up the, I've got Gorilla Glue. So we're going to attempt to patch her up and then obviously if it works, it works great. Um, and I can just sand down all the glue bits, but if not, then I don't really know. We're just going to see what we can do basically. Should we try? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh. cuts now it's like giving her surgery so she's cut down here and she's cut down here and she's kind of like loosening but not enough so she's still kind of like a little bit damp inside <laughs> but hopefully once we get this off the jar it will properly like be dried um because the inside's just still not dry which is obviously because it's salt okay it needs the air to dry it but we're going to try and cut the rest off but she's cracking like nothing else at the moment Right, so as you can see, she has one panel that's just pulled off and the rest we've managed to now save. So what we're going to do is stick this bit back on and then we're going to tie some ribbon round to hold it so that it doesn't fall back off again and it kind of stays as it needs to be because obviously, as you can see, it's a bit wobbly. Um, the inside is still very wet, so it needs to be left out for a while because basically it all needs to go like this and this is going to take a couple of days to do it, I think. So we're going to glue it. We're going to try and patch up all her little bits, like the cracks and stuff around here um because she's very heavily cracked around her boobs <laughs> and then we're going to leave her to dry while she's glued Good morning guys. I think it's actually afternoon. Yeah, it's two o'clock. I thought it was only 12. Where the hell's the day gone? This morning, I had a very lazy one. Basically stayed in bed watching Dead to Me, which is so good. So that was like the next series on that we watched from Bridgerton and really enjoy it. It's really, really good. So I think we've just started the second season. So we did our little shop, came home obviously and now i'm gonna sit and have a cup of tea because i feel very riled up <laughs> i just feel really like stressed because it really stresses me in supermarkets when people just don't like it's like every man for themselves just i just can't cope with it but um i need to have something for lunch i just don't know what something is gonna be maybe i'm hangry if you could see the nodding going on right now i think i'm hangry um we are actually gonna try and go for a walk at some point and then I think we're going to come home. I'm going to try and make a vegan mac and cheese because we had one. Oh, it was like back in November when Hayley was here. Um, we had a really, really good mac and cheese that I made. So I'm going to try and make another one and just see if we can get like a really good, like, I don't know. I just fancy a good mac and cheese. Um, so that's going to be like our late lunch dinner. Probably, well, probably dinner because you're eating lunch now. And then, yeah, I think we're going to watch Harry Potter or something tonight and chill. I think I need a nap or a bath or a maybe a nap <laughs> sleep off my anger from Alstar but yeah I thought I'd also show you some PR bits that came in so I'll quickly give you a rundown of some of those because they are in the office currently there's like four or five different bits um but first I'm gonna eat um, also, completely forgot, one of the things I bought in Asda was actually this. So I bought a drinks trolley, which looks like the Oliver Bonus ones that everyone loved. 
um, only 30 pounds and obviously the Primark one you can't really get anymore but I really like the colour of this one so my boyfriend is lovingly going to build it for me he actually wanted to build it I did not ask him or make him can you just confirm <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's going to quickly make that now and then I think it's going to eventually become like something in a dining room or whatever but here I don't really have the space for it so I'm going to put it in the bathroom and put my bath bombs on it and like some candles and stuff and just make it like a little bath trolley until it becomes a living room one because originally I was actually going to get a drinks tray to go here and then I fell in love with that and that's now here this is actually from B&M Homes if anyone's wondering um I shared it on my home account the other day I don't think I actually put it in the vlog but it was 50 pounds and I think it looked quite a lot like the H&M and stuff H&M um, range that everyone loves so I really like it I also think it looks quite cute here and it kind of makes the room a bit more full and then that is just remnants of a hall <laughs> later and I thought I would quickly show you the little PR bits that have come in the post in the last couple of days because I've got a few different bits and pieces on the floor that I wanted to share with you so obviously I don't do these very often I think I kind of do them every now and then but I want to make it into more of a thing in the weekly vlog so I can share with you any new releases or anything that's come into my PO box slash I can't see her downstairs pick them up and just share the new releases with you and the new things so some of these are obviously for paid campaigns some of these are just general gifts from prs so hashtag pr product for all the following things um but i'll get started and share with you what i've got so first up we have this which is from l'oreal which is the lv dream length wonder water apparently this is like huge in america i've never heard of this but people are saying it's really really good and i know the dream length shampoo and conditioner which has been around for a while is quite good so this is basically meant to be you put it straight onto your hair when it's wet massage it for eight seconds and then rinse out and it's basically meant to like smooth all your frizz and everything and it's just a little bottle like so so i think i'm going to give this a try next time i wash my hair and see how i feel because if you've seen recent videos and stuff you'll know that i'm really trying to get back to like leaving my hair a lot more natural so if that works great because there is a lot of frizz on my head sometimes <laughs> then we have this little package which is from nutella and they have kindly gifted me this in time for pancake day which i need to find out when it is because i know it's soon and it's just a little jar of nutella with my name on it very 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 cute i love this a lot i think it's really cool so this is going to go straight in the cupboard actually i was just waiting to quickly film this in a vlog because i think it's really cool i've never actually had a jar of nutella with my name on although i have many a jar of nutella in my life but never with my name on so very exciting then this is actually a package from Jo Malone. So I have a little Zoom call catch up with them about their Valentine's Day collections and things coming up. And they've kindly sent me two gifts in here which I need to open up. So they sent me a little note that just says, the gift of scent comes in many forms from colognes that sparkle in a memory. Colognes that sparkle memory to indulgent bath and body products for a quiet night in. You're invited to discover perfect presents beautifully blocks for Valentine's Day as we celebrate all forms of love. A gift from us to you, please enclose two fragrant favourites, one for you and one for them. Exciting. So I'm going to open these up and show you what is in these two. And then obviously I can re-gift one or I can just keep it by myself. So this is the first one with the little cute red ribbon around it. So this one is... Ooh! It's the Scarlet Poppy Cologne Intense and it's in the little red bottle. I've actually got Joy Malone on today. I've got the wood and sea salt mixed with, oh God, I can't remember what the other one is. I can't remember. Some other one, I've got two that I mixed together. But this smells like, oh, it's like really nice and sweet. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like really nice and sweet, but also quite soft. So it's like a really good spring summer fragrance because it's like quite nice and light. Like when it comes to spring summer, I like things that are a lot more like light and floral and like sweet. Whereas in some, um, winter and autumn and stuff, I really like like a nice oud, 
like I like a darker scent for autumn okay and then this one says you've got a video message so we'll have to play that in a minute you basically have to scan the little QR code and then it's like a little message from Jo Malone <laughs> and then this what is in here I'm feeling like this might be a candle because it's in the little box it is a candle so we have a lime basil and mandarin scented candle oh my god I love Jo Malone candles I actually have a um I can't remember what the scent of it is I want to say it's like peony, peony blush I can't remember but I've got one that is sat in my cupboard and I only light it on very rare occasions because I want it to last and I'm really glad I've got this one now so I can add it add it to my little collection I might save this one till I move house and have it as like one of my moving house scents because I like keeping little things like this as a little gift to myself and then when I move I can light it for the first time and be like oh I remember I bought this for this house like blah blah, blah. <laughs> so I'll pop those over there for now then what else have we got there's a few like random bits and pieces here so i have to kind of work my way around the room as such um this is the next one so this is a package from spotlight oral care so they have sent me over some whitening bits um so in here we've got a toothbrush this is a sonic toothbrush suitable for sensitive teeth stain removal and maintaining teeth whitening so it's got like three cleansing modes etc then we've also got a whitening strips and whitening toothpaste suitable for whitening teeth reducing staining and for sensitive teeth vegan friendly cruelty free created by dentists so it's apparently got 28 strips 14 for upper 14 for lower and then teeth white paste and then i've also got some teeth whitening pen twist off base of pen 20 times until gel has been dispensed use brush paint your teeth with the whitening agent leave it for five minutes and then rinse with straight away with water Hmm, interesting. Never heard of those before, so that would be good to try. And then I've also got a little signature, signature collection from Hotel Chocolat, which is a selection of filled chocolates. I don't know what they are because it's sealed, <laughs> but I will be having those after my dinner tonight while we watch Harry Potter, which I think is our little like plan for the evening. Comes through. I always do thank brands individually via email and stuff, but I think it's nice to kind of show you what comes in because it's nice for them to get a feature. They've obviously kindly sent it over to me and... There is normally no obligation to say anything if it's like a gift, like for example some of these, but I just thought I'd share them because they're kind enough to send it to me, so I want to share it with you guys. And obviously some things like the teeth whitening stuff you might end up seeing me using over a couple of vlogs, or you might hear me mention the perfume and stuff in future, so just thought I'd mention it. Um, then next up we have some bracelets from Tinklink, which are basically healing crystal bracelets, which we all know I'm a big manifesty universe secret loving person and I love a good crystal or five. So I've actually got a little amethyst up there and I've also got one of the amethyst water bottles. Um, and I do have a few other little crystals dotted around my house and I really like them. I like the idea behind them. So these are basically different bracelets and you can custom build them. So you can pick the stone that you get, you can pick the spacer colour, so you can get like gold, blue, pink, etc. And then you can also pick a message or a word to put on them. So this one is amethyst, um, which encourages positive thinking, motivates the mind, calms and heals the body, mind and soul, relieves stress, balances emotion and a natural tranquilizer. So I've just got this one, which is obviously the purple amethyst. It says Jessica and it's got gold spacers. Then I got this one, which is citrine, which says happiness, um, which is a healing crystal bracelet. So this one is for happiness, prosperity, creativity, pleasure, strength, confidence, energy, success, goodness and enjoyment of life. And then this one I put magic. So this is clear quartz and it says it brings harmony and balance, boosts energy, stimulates the mind, aims clarity, instills calmness, heals body, mind and soul. So I've just got three little bracelets there from Tinkling, which I will leave a link to in this vlog. They are kindly sponsoring a reel that I'm going to be doing on Instagram and I honestly love them. I think it's such a cool idea. I have to admit, I thought up the names for these very quickly. I put my name on one of them just because I thought if it's personalised, you kind of have to do that. And then I thought magic because I'm big on like manifesting and the magic of the universe and stuff. And then happiness just to kind of remind me every day to be a bit happier, <laughs> especially in these strange times. So I love those. I'm going to get those out in a minute. And then lastly, I have a couple of bits from Superdry because I'm actually doing a campaign with them over on Instagram. So this is not an ad, but the Instagram posts and stuff will be. Kindly sent me over a few bits from their new sustainable range. So they've actually got some vegan leather trainers they've released. Um, they've got some joggers and puffer coats and all that kind of thing. So I'm still waiting on two of the puffer coats and a couple of other bits for the posts. But this is what has turned up so far. So up, I have a plain t-shirt. So this is basically 
just a plain t-shirt i just thought i'd get a plain black one because i think plain t-shirts are such a staple for your wardrobe and if you can get a really good quality one even better because i wear plain t-shirts literally all the time and like plain jumpers and stuff so i try to invest as much as i can in good quality ones just so that they last me the longest time possible um then we've got these which are the just classic joggers so these are high-waisted and in a size eight and i actually quite like these because they're not heavily branded like there's not really any branding on them so they're basically just black joggers and i don't actually no tell a lie i have one pair of black joggers but these are a little bit more slim fit so really like those and then i also have some jeans here which are just plain black i think mid-rise jeans maybe high-waisted i'm not sure which ones i got i don't know if these are mid-rise or high-rise it also doesn't say i guess i'll find yeah mid-rise skinnies so just plain black skinny jeans which will obviously come in really really handy they do look very very small though anyway moving on to shoes two pairs of shoes these are both vegan leather and they come in i believe eight different colors each so i've got a low top and a high top pair the high top pair are these ones so these are just classic black with the white kind of line around them i blimmin love these because i don't own any black trainers and I've wanted high top ones for a while but I've never found any that I really liked and I just absolutely love these. I think they're really, really cool. And I like that they're not too chunky either, like they're quite narrow fitted. Um, and they just look really nice and classic. So I've got those ones the first up. And then the other pair I got and the last thing in this little try on, uh, try on? Unboxing is these ones. So again, like I said, they come in loads of different colours. So there's like light green ones, there's red, there's yellow, there's all these multiple multicoloured solutions. And these are the black and white ones. So they've got the red at the back, and then obviously the red kind of follows through here. But for the most part, they're just black and white. And I thought these ones were quite nice and classic. So they stick with my kind of monochrome look, but then you've got the little bit of red here. Um, so I really liked these and I think it's really cool that they're vegan leather. They're also more sustainable. So yeah, it says on here committed to independent thinking and sharing of knowledge, creating potential to grow future thinking and be better. On a journey of sustainability and environmental care, aiming to use materials that respect the welfare of animals and minimise our impact on the planet. Well done, super dry. All for that. So yeah, love those. And if you watched my recent video, no, my recent video will not be up yet. There is a video coming up where I'm talking about my kind of, my stance on fashion in 2021 and the kind of direction I'm gonna be going down with the things that I buy and what I wear and stuff and how I'm kind of aiming to be a bit more conscious with my thoughts when I buy things. So like not just buying willy nilly for the sake of it and buying everything and anything clothes wise, like thinking about things that I really need in my wardrobe or things that I can invest in that will last me a really long time and stuff. So watch the space coming soon, but love that, that Super Dry are doing a bit more sustainability because I think it's really, really important. But yeah. Um, that is basically everything. I'm gonna go take these to the sofa and get a cup of tea and eat these and I'm gonna start making my mac and cheese for dinner because let me tell you I am very excited. I've been thinking it since like I think yesterday and I'm really excited for some mac and cheese so I'm gonna go make that. Mike's tractor can hood is the perfect height for me to vlog from. Don't know why I've never realised this before. Um, I made mac and cheese for six people. Yes, it is a lot for two people. I'm fully aware that is a whole dish worth. Like, I've literally, okay, I can't touch the Le Creuset pot, I just burnt my fingers. But um, I did a whole pot for six people worth and we just thought we'll freeze some of it. Not freeze it, sorry. We'll put like four portions in the fridge and then we've got them for the next couple of days for like dinner or lunch because it's vegan mac and cheese. There's no dairy or anything in it, so it should be fine and it should keep. Um, and also we kind of just put too much pasta and couldn't be bothered to try and work out the like difference in thingies. So yeah, we've got a lot, but it looks unreal and I'm so excited to eat it. It looks like perfectly gooey, doesn't it? Yum. I will leave the recipe I used linked down below. It was a Jamie Oliver one and we literally followed it exactly. Um, so yeah, can recommend. We've made it twice now and I really liked it both times. Well, I haven't tried this time yet, but I liked it last time. So I'm sure I'll like it this time. Preempting, dishing out. <laughs> It's 
it's that time of the week when a bath is inevitable because we all know I have 600 baths a week and where I've been feeling a bit off today I thought it'd be really good to just get in a bath and chill and just relax um I'm not like I don't know I feel like every week I get a bit stressed and a bit anxious and I think this week is just like pre-period week so like <laughs> I'm stressed I'm anxious I'm irritable I'm hungry I'm just PMSing like you would not believe. I don't feel like I've ever really noticed it as being PMSing before. This week I've been so irritable and I think I'm driving everyone insane. So um, I'm gonna just get in the bath and just try and bath it out, read a book, take my mind off things and just try and... So I'm actually gonna be putting essential oils in the bath, which is something I've started doing in the last couple of weeks because I obviously just, because I honestly just didn't even think about doing it before. And then I was like, well, you put oils in the bath so why not just put essential oils in the bath and put like my anxiety ones and stuff in so i've got a neroli one which is for anxiety which i'll leave linked because i got it on amazon for i think about 10 pounds but it was really really good it's lasted me god since like summer last year so it's lasted me a good few months and i use it quite often so if i'm having a bit of a day so if i'm having a day where i feel a bit anxious i normally just put it on in the living room and just let the scent kind of carry through the house um and then i'm going to put this one in the bath today but I'm actually going to put this one in the bath today, which is the um, scent to de-stress from, de from, which is the scent to de-stress from Neom, and I'm going to put the matching candle burning, just so that it's like two scents of the same, and it will just like calm me and everything. Um, and then, oh, I don't know, do I do that or do I get? So I've got like a pack. <sighs> do I do that or do I get my pack of essential oils? Because I've got a pack of oils, which is like loads of different scents. So there's like literally every kind of scent you can think of I think it was 20 and on Pinterest you can look up like anxiety essential oil remedies and it will tell you like how much to put in of each thing so it could be like two drops of peppermint one drop of like lavender etc So bath time essentials, I've got my multivitamin mask from Vita Maskers, which is a brand that I work with quite a lot and they send me some really great masks and I've never been disappointed by any they've given me. So this one is a sheet mask and it's basically, I think it's a sheet mask, I'm not entirely sure, it might not be, <laughs> but this is a multivitamin one for a radiant complexion. So I'm going to put this one on today and then I've also got my flat share book, which I am halfway through and my chamomile tea with a bit of honey. Um, also, just resharing this bookmark. What page am I on? 189, okay. This is a bookmark I got on Etsy, which I'll leave linked down below. This is the, I think, bleached white color, I can't remember, um, but it's really, really cute and would be a great gift, but also it's really, really thin and just really cute. So I wanted like a nice simple bookmark and that one's perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and get in my bath now. Merci, à bienvenue. 